Hello everyone, this is Sohail once again with a new video. In the last video, we talked about the chemical composition required for the hydraulic reactivity to replace the 70% GGBS, the ultimate GGBS. And in this video, we are talking about the GGBS itself, means the GGBS physical characteristics which affects the real time concrete with real time motor, like the fineness of the GGBS. I mean to say the particle distribution, the activity index of the GGBS, in other terms it is called as a slag activity index, the chemical admixture, whatever we are using with the concrete, when the GGBS is present, what type of GGBS, what type of chemical admixture we have to use and what it actually it has to be composed of. And we are talking about interfacial transition zone that is called ITZ. Along with that, we are also talking to tackling or to counter with AAR alkali aggregate reactions and the most important curing temperature how it affects the strength of the concrete so guys as you are aware the fineness of the GGBS is more always than the PC that a Portland cement okay why it is because because it is found in many researches it is found in many trials that the fineness of the GGBS should be more and it must be more than the Portland cement like 400 to 600 meters square per kg you can say it as a plane 400 to 600 because when the fineness of the GGBS is increased the hydration is increased the water demand is increased so when the water demand is increased means the hydration is increased when the hydration is increased means the reaction is fast reaction is fast the strength gaining is fast so when the GGBS fineness is around 450, 500 or 600 meters square per kg that means that the early strength gaining property of the GGBS increases itself on 28th day on 7 day it gains the faster strength and if you are talking about the precast concrete to get the early strength with the economical or optimized design it also, it also have has an option and we'll talk it about in next video and now come to the second point the activity index that means that the slag activity index so the ASTM C989 is classified it the three grades of the GGBS like grade 80 grade 100 grade 120 on the basis of slag activity index what actually the slag activity index what 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 it shows slag activity index is nothing but one the mix with the pure hydraulic cement OPC 53 another one is the the combination that whatever using 50 50 or 60 40 30 40 whatever it you are using so that one so the strength gain or by a pure concrete means the pure cement concrete was divided by the strength gain with the you mean to say it is the ratio to the normal concrete and the blended concrete so whatever it was getting so at uh, one side there are some value that states that and the last time also I told for slag activity index should be on the higher side always so that you will get a good strength so next coming to the point the chemical admixture like nowadays we are using super plasticizers based on polycarboxylic ether PCE so when we are using the GGBS practically if we go the GGBS mix is somewhat sticky the GGBS mix is somewhat sticky. You may reduce the water cement ratio or you may increase the sufficient water, whatever it may, but the mix is sticky because it, it the property of the GGBS itself is a uh, makes the concrete to get sticky. The the aggregate shape, uh, sorry, means I mean to say the particle shape of that on the glassy content, uh, those all things will make the concrete mix sticky. So to overcome that stickiness, to get the good workability or to get the better workability for the uh, workmen like machines and all at the time of casting raft uh, slabs uh, or any kind of that which uh, which was enclosed or open to the sky open to the weather at that time where you need the top finish at that time what kind of admixture we have to use either we have a long pumping around 80 meter 100 meter 120 meter or 200 meter at that time what type of admixture you use see one thing is clear since GGBS not having or GGBS doesn't have a carbon there is no carbon in the GGBS. So, the whatever the chemical admixture we use, the generally the same chemical admixture what we use, we can use for the GGBS mix also. Whatever we use with the 100% Portland cement, with the same we can use. But, 
to the addition of that some amount of air entertaining agent has to be increased to give that mix to be free from stickiness to give that ggbs mix a proper workability proper flow and the freeness in that so the chemical admixture also plays a vital role in that now coming to the third point itz the inter interfacial transition zone you know what it is demonstrated in many of the trials or in many of the researches you can go through it the ggbs significantly decreases both the quantity and the orienting arrangement of calcium hydroxide crystals at the itz the crystal size becomes smaller because of the addition of ggbs but when the ggbs is fine the grounded to fine like more than 450 500 600 mil square per kg at that time the ggbs improves the itz the itz is nothing but a micro level structure of the concrete paste that is cement paste where the arrangement of crystal can be seen it's a micro level structure so in that the fineness of the ggbs plays very important role to make it stable to make it strong and itz to be considered as a both the strongest and the stable stable paste form when the itz is good and the same paste is get weaker when the itz is not good so to improve that itz we required the fine grounded ggbs with the cement whatever the percentage it is now coming to the alkali aggregate reaction so it's a very uh, i mean when we are designing for the high strength concrete see in a high strength concrete because of alkali content high high alkali content the possibility of alkali aggregate reaction is high it is much higher than the conventional concrete whatever the concrete we are using and considering as an high grade which is having a strength more than m55 as per the is 456 indian standard okay so uh, one of the standard uh, like japan standard standard number a5308 is a5308 states that in a high strength concrete to keep the concrete and the structure same from the alkali aggregate reaction is suggest uh, the non reactive aggregate and how the non reactive aggregate we can use it also suggest the method the motor bar or the chemical method to find out whatever the non reactive aggregates are but one thing it is expensive that aggregate is expensive so so to overcome that one the alkali aggregate reaction to overcome that one again we have to turn the face about the ggbs so what happens here the replacement of cement up to 30 to 50% by the ggbs using a low alkali cement so now the question is what is the low alkali cement it is nothing but the every cement available in market is having the alkali ratio but the the alkali ratio should not be more than 0.6% that is uh, was calculated by nao2 plus 0.658 into kto there is a calculation one and you will get the same detail in the mtc metal test certificate of the cement so whatever the cement we take it was almost maintained to 0.6 okay so you can replace it easily so the alkali aggregate reaction can be controlled with the replacement of the ggbs also so no doubt in that so now coming to the most important point that is the curing temperature the water temperature so if we also we also have it that ggbs makes the concrete uh, like less aggressive towards the hydration so it reduces the hydration since the strength gaining is not so fast compared to the normal concrete so to increase that one at the place when it is slow to increase that one to its optimal level or to its maximum level not as than a pc but up to that level we have to maintain the temperature of the curing water and the curing should be normal one if the temperature decreases for the curing that means that the reaction will get slow and your strength gaining is less slow you know what the, whatever the ggbs content we use the mix we use the strength compared to the 7 days to 28 days it increases as the general one increases but if we we add the finer one the 28 day and 7 day strength is somewhat high and it coming to the 56 day the strength again will increase but in normal concrete it won't 
seen uh, much time but in 56 days in ggbs mix it was increased it was increased because there is a balance of hydration still the crystalline the crystal formation of chs is not completed because of incomplete hydration so that what taken place in this 28 days extra and again to the 90 days the strength will again increase it increase in the sense that whatever the grade you use for that one it increases 5 to 10 percent it increases till the year okay the result the studies the research shows that it increases till, till the year like uh, if i have designed for the m40 or m50 or m60 whatever the you take in 28 days if you are getting whatever the strength requirement for the m60 70 mp if you are getting like in 56 days you will get 76 or 77 in 90 days you will get 80 or 82 in after one year it is about 90 mpa yes it is about 90 mpa so the strength gaining property is also depend upon the hydration which was proved uh, which was uh, proved by many of the researchers and we also talked about that but the curing temperature should be maintained uh, with that mix that uh, water whatever it takes so guys i thought uh, that you will get the idea whatever the physical parameters of the ggbs how it affects uh, uh, on the concrete mix and in the next video we are talking about the chemical admixture what kind of chemical admixture what type of polymer what type of polymer chain it should contain to enhance to provide the early strength for the precast see what 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 there is a difference in precast concrete and the normal conventional concrete the precast concrete required early stripping early handling or early lifting of the element whatever it is being casted like in 12 hours or 18 hours within the 24 hours but in general we just strip so they required much more higher strength like for the m60 they required around 48 mpa in 18 hours to lift that one to transport that one so how to get that 48 mpa within the composition of very economical cement but with the help of chemical admixture so i request you to stay tuned with my channel and support me share if you like if you found the inform informative the content whatever it i create please share and support once again thank you